Welcome to the HyperSecQ YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about how to send and receive the public certificate or public key. This is essential to be able to encrypt emails. So when you encrypt an email, first you take their public certificate, encrypt the email with that, and send it to the recipient. And when they receive the email, it's encrypted. This email can only be decrypted with the private key of the user that's stored on the HyperPKI token. Now why is this more secure? This is more secure because the certificate is stored on a hardware token and can never be exported and only used by the user with that hardware token. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is a token. Here's our HyperPKI token. If you don't have this, you can purchase it from our website, hypersecu.com. Next, we're going to need a certificate. Here you can see is our EnterSafe PKI Manager, and I have a Komodo certificate which is free to get a Komodo email certificate from their website. If you do not have a certificate, if you do not understand the EnterSafe PKI Manager, or you have not installed the middleware for the tokens, please visit our other videos that are very helpful on our YouTube channel to be able to guide you through these procedures, which are all very easy once you understand how to do it. Okay, now that I have my token and my certificate, I want to send my public key. So first I tried to send an email encrypted, but it didn't work. Why? Because I didn't have that public certificate of the recipient. So I have to receive their public certificate first to encrypt the emails to send them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my hyper PKI token, which stores my certificate. When I plug this in, it takes a moment to recognize the token. And then now what I'm going to do is send an email. Here, I'm going to send it to myself for test purposes. Now we can encrypt and decrypt. Our emails. It's so secure. Now that now we have our tokens, we can encrypt and decrypt email. So how I do this is I'm going to sign the email. I click sign. Now you might not see this in your options. So what you want to do is go to more options. Under more options, I click security settings. And here you'll see these two choices. What you want to click both so they'll appear here later. But for now, I'm going to sign close. Now I've signed the email. Now the token is asking me for my PIN to be able to sign the email and access the certificate. So I enter my PIN and I have just sent my certificate, my public key or my public certificate. Now if I receive this, here now you can see here I've received a new email and in this email here it shows that it's signed now that's not it now that I've received their public certificate I have to save it and save their contacts so I add them to my Outlook contacts in my Outlook contacts here you fill out the information that you want for them and here you can see the certificate that is attached to this user all looks good okay so I'm going to save this and click update to add the certificate. Now, after that, I'm able to encrypt and decrypt emails with them. I'm able to send them an email, encrypt it, and they're able to decrypt. They're able to use my public certificate to encrypt an email, send it to me, and I'm able to decrypt with my private key or my certificate on my token. If you have any questions, would like further information, please feel free to contact us anytime at our headquarters or you can contact feel free to contact me directly thank you for your time and i hope this was you